trans women should not be in head-to-head -head competition against females. Trans athletes should definitely be able to compete, especially if they follow the rules and the guidelines. There's no training, no coach that's gonna outrun biology. Men are not textbook bigger than women. There's short man syndrome, there are tall female athletes, there are people that come in every shape and size. A male who's been through male puberty and has now reduced their testosterone is not a female. If a trans athlete's hormone levels fall in the same range as the people they're competing against, then there is no debate to be had. Throughout all levels of sports, trans women are taking spots away from females, and it's just not fair. The likelihood of a trans athlete taking someone else's spot at high levels of competition is not a real concern. Leah competing against the women of the Ivy League and the NCAA was a slap in the face to all the women there. Leah Thomas is awesome. I think she's brave. I think she's courageous and I'm proud of her. The female category is for females only. Trans people are here to stay and sports is a part of our culture, but we have to give them the space to be themselves. This is a much talked about subject right now. Nancy, why do you say Leah Thomas shouldn't compete in the women's division? Leah Thomas had 10 years on testosterone. If a biological woman was on that much testosterone, she would be banned for life because of the changes that it makes to the body. So 10 years of being on 20 times more testosterone than what biological women have. But when you say was on testosterone, you mean naturally. Natural, yeah, exactly. Yeah, not that she was. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but that's male puberty. Right. And that has a substantial effect on the muscle mass and a lot Everything. of other aspects. Right, of right, the body. right. Even as far as it's not just height and lung capacity and bigger heart, it's also like a bigger throat. I mean, th that was the first time ever that I felt jealous of men. <laughs> yeah. Because in swimming, like when you're swimming, like, and you're, you need to breathe, it is a fast, like, <gasps> right? You've got to be able to get it in really quickly. To be able to have a 40% uh, bigger throat, to me, would be, <laughs> it uh, would have been amazing. Be, been yeah. huge. It's huge. And you didn't compete against men, but you did compete against the Eastern. East German women. East German women. I sure did, yeah. And they were on, there was a big scandal at the time because they were on yeah. performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, they were on performance enhancing drugs, but we as athletes weren't supposed to talk about it. So in press conferences, they wanted us just to talk about like good swim and you know, be a good sport. But everybody knew they were taking drugs that their, their voices were much lower, they had to shave. Athletes that were on testosterone were never competitive against men. Right, even then. Even then. E even those that were on that. Right. Okay, now Lane says there was another trans swimmer at the NCAA meet that didn't win any events whatsoever. What, what are you referring to? Isaac Hennick. Well, I mean, Isaac, yeah, he, he's competing you know, and with women, and he did beat Leah, by the way. Uh -huh. um, I think overall that this is an overgeneralization, though, and you know that. You know that tea has lots of different effects. You know it affects people in many, many ways. You know the biology is not XX and XY. You know that. And so we can't come out and overgeneralize and say tea affects everything. And scientifically, there is no current evidence that says that because of a testosterone level, that trans women have an inherent competitive advantage. I do think that having gone through male puberty gives mm -hmm. somebody an advantage that you just can't train for, get coached for, eat for, sleep, right? You can't, there's nothing that somebody can do that can make up for Leah Thomas's six foot four, you know, bigger hands, longer limbs, d d bone density, Oof. that bigger throat. That's tough. There's a lot of women who are six foot four with big hands and big bones and big shoulders um, because we all come in different shapes and sizes. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.